Hey guys. Um. Hey. <laughs> it was uh, too loud um, and too bright. Uh, waking up a hangover. The thing is, uh, I'm gonna have to uh, do a follow up with um, uh, the series the thing about um, uh, midnight confession. Uh, the thing is, uh, keep on mentioning about um, about my teeth. And the thing is that uh, you guys are probably thinking oh, it was like bluffing and shit like that. So, all right, I finally got the temporary shit off. So I'm telling you, I ain't bluffing at all. So this is what it is. <laughs> yeah. So initially it started with two, and then it becomes four, and now the dentist tell me the 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 the, the four is not stable enough because I already got the metal is drilling in there and then and she's suggesting make it six so that include the fans over here right now uh, so she's uh, gonna apply the whole thing it's it's a painful experience so I ain't bluffing at all so excuse me I'm gonna speak in a not so unclear tone of it <clears throat> so I ain't bluffing so the thing is this is fucking real um otherwise my teeth are impeccable I never I I Almost never had cavities, and other than wisdom teeth, and of course when you're teenagers and you get it out. But this thing was uh, physical trauma when I was like uh, teenagers. Um, <laughs> the initial uh, injury was because I was skateboarding and I was doing the flip side, upside down, boom, and then you jump on it there and then land it on your face and boom, and then. <laughs> that was the initial phase. So um, you land on your face, knock out your teeth, and um, that's uh, what you do when you're teenagers. So that was a pretty traumatic experience. So ever since then, for over 10 years, uh, even though I hate to go to the dentist, but um, just that uh, you can never avoid it because that was um, that was the thing, right? So. Um, so I got I got my initial uh, fake teeth fixed, the permanent ones. But permanent or not, it was still fake. So afterwards, <laughs> later on, when you break it again, cause it got a tendency to knock off, even because it's fake. <laughs> so so afterwards, when whenever I lost it, either I I I, was, I tripped over, it fell on my face, and then boom, or or I got into fights. And boom, boom, you, you, you knock the other person out of the thing. <laughs> well, they knocked me out, and they're like, uh, oh, they, they knocked me out. They, they knocked my fake teeth out, so it didn't matter. But, but you knock them out, you knock their nose out, you knock their teeth out. That was their real nose and real teeth. Not mine. Mine was just like a facade. It was just boom. And then, oh, it was, oh where's my fake teeth? Oh, I, I lost this. I need to go to the dentist and get my fake teeth. <laughs> Fake teeth. So that was uh, uh experience for me. So uh, um, yeah, it's not nothing to brag about. It's just I'm not lying about it. Um, the thing is that um, so what I need to tell you is that uh, ain't nothing fun because um, I need to go see my doctor again, the dentist, and to see uh, what's going on. All right, to catch up uh, what I was saying about last time about. Um, how do you conduct your life uh, in, in this respect? Um, see, when I was in my 20s, um, it's just girls, girls after girls. And and the thing is, after when you reach 30, and then it just ain't that important anymore. There's things that people like uh, talk about these kind of stuff, and you're just like, been there, done that. And even including marriage, because <laughs> the way I think about it, all, all my friends, uh, what I was thinking was beta males. <laughs> and when they were all busy getting married at this point, and um, of course getting married and get, have kids and things like that, well, good for them. When they, when they are getting busy married, same same was I, which is like a couple of years ago, and, and we just like, boom. Uh, a year later, <laughs> and then we got divorced. <laughs> so when they got busy married, I got divorced. So I I just figure in a turnaround in a Taoist sense, it was just 
everything goes around, comes around, when you're talking about uh, the, the midlife crisis, or seven year itches, <laughs> things like that, I was just like, I was figuring, <laughs> when they're start too busy getting divorced, I'm gonna get married again, <laughs> like Donald Trump. <laughs> no, it was just, uh, uh, no, but what I'm lamenting was a um, matter of fact observation because, uh, as I told you, it was um, I work in uh, courts a lot. Of course, every time I got my teeth knocked out, I can't go to court. I, I can't go to Your Honor like this. And then speaking, like people don't, don't understand what I'm saying. So I'm just call sick and just say I lost my foot. Front teeth, and then nobody in his family. But that's okay. But the thing is, I work in courts and a lot of civil courts and family courts is about uh, divorce cases. <laughs> so I was just looking at these people and lamenting the fact that it was real life drama. Yeah, real life drama. The same is. <laughs> The thing is that, uh, seriously, I, I sit through one day about 20 divorce cases, uh, as I mentioned in the other videos, about, <laughs> they, get, they get married in a divorce in the same building, different entrance, but the same building. Here you get married, turn around the corner, you get divorced. <laughs> so uh, the thing is, uh, I was just lamenting the fact, all right, so get back to me, we just, uh, what goes around comes around, so, um, but of course, uh, I, I tend to tell you that live to your life to the best, to the best of your ability and live for yourself. Because, hey, being politically incorrect as it is, but the bottom line is, you are living for yourself. Take care of yourself and living for yourself is the way to go. Because, like I say, um, nobody's going to look after you, especially don't trust women because women are very, very, very selfish. And women are stronger, stronger than dudes. And that's a fact too. And don't blame them because this is an evolution fact. Because look at through that, they have to go through 12 times of menstruation cycle a year and then go through labor and go bearing children for 10 months and shit like that. Of course, they're gonna have to protect themselves. On the other hand, uh, they don't think the way you think. They think in almost like a children's way, like a child. And if they do what they want, and then you're becoming like a surrogate father. That's what it is. <laughs> but then again, you say, hey, I ain't your father. I'm your boyfriend. But the thing is, they want you to be the father figure. Um, so whenever they got broken toilet, broken sink, broken this, broken lamps, broken shit, and they want you to there to fix it like their daddy. Um, whenever they got shit in terms of their office politics, which is absolutely fucking bullshit, bored as fuck, and you gotta be there, be a good audience and listen. Um, and Whenever you want something to say, either they're in a good mood, they're probably going to listen a little bit or empathize with you a little bit, but it depends on who you are. Because I've been with some bad bitches and just don't want to, like, listen to an inch. Like, I've been with a couple of girls, so it depends on who they are. Some of them are really good. Uh, some of them would even, like, watch Full Metal Jacket with you or, or even download... Generation Kill or the Pacific, things like that. Uh, other than just, let's say we want to watch a, um, Apocalypse Now, and she wouldn't even give like five minutes for it, just like, fuck it. Or, or anything that, if there's a little blood or things like that, ain't working with them. All right, I'll, I'll time's up. I'm going to have to follow up with you guys. Um, yeah, so maybe... Uh, then another episode.